Meanwhile, the latest and maybe the last audio drop from uh, a Tom, uh, Tom, from Bob Woodward's um, monetization tour. Um, here is the last conversation that he had with Donald Trump. This was in April. Now, can you just imagine that, okay, he's wrapped everything up. Even if in April he had let the public know about the conversations he had had in February, that would have made a difference. If it makes a difference today, it would have made a difference in terms of thousands of lives before. Nevertheless, here is the conversation, uh, the last conversation Bob Woodward had with Donald Trump uh, talking about COVID. This thing is a killer if it gets you. If you're the wrong person, you don't have a chance. Yes, yes, exactly. This, this is a monster. This is a scourge. And it's the plague. And Bob, it's so easily transmissible, you wouldn't even believe it. I know. It's. I it's, mean, you can you can be in the room. I was in the White House a couple of days ago, a meeting of ten people in the Oval Office, and a guy sneezed innocently, not a horrible, you know, yes. just a sneeze. The entire room bailed out. Okay, including <laughs> me, by the way. There you go. That's an April thirteenth. He's bailing out of a, of a meeting uh, because somebody <clears throat> sneezed innocently. Let's look at what he was saying at that time. This is his Twitter. Um, here it is. On April 17th, right? On April 13th, he's saying this thing is a, is, a, is a plague. You'll bail out. This thing will kill you. If you're the wrong person, you don't have a chance. I bailed out when someone sneezed. Four days later, here he is saying, liberate Virginia and save your Second Amendment. It's under siege. Liberate Michigan. Liberate Minnesota. In other words, stop stop actually being suppressed by this fake coronavirus um, hoax. This is the message he's putting out there four days after he said this. And now, remember, <clears throat> you if he had said what he said in February 7th, and then on April 13th, he had said, you know, instead of saying it April 13th, he had said it on February 8th. You would see a, a consistency on his attitude towards this whole thing. And then just compare all his comments from February 7th to April 17th. Then he wasn't, you know, he's an idiot, but he's not an idiot about this. He knows. He's just like the rest of the, you know, the lives that we would spare, they're not. They're not my life. I, I mean, I think that's pretty poignant. I, I mean, I, I, you know, from February 7th to April 13th, that guy's perspective on this didn't seem to change an iota privately. And it didn't seem to change an iota publicly either, frankly. Psycho, you're talking about fleeing the room and this is the attitude you've had publicly towards the coronavirus? For, 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 through February, through March, into mm -hmm. April, for two and a half months, when literally tens of thousands of people have dying. That's pretty stunning. That's pretty stunning. 